All right. Where do we begin? I never make these videos. But seeing as I, how everybody is deciding to make a video right now, I, 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 I want to have this be heard and really understood. So I'm going to try and say this in the best way possible. I've been in tons of these competitions. The controversy that's surrounding ZWI is not healthy for the community. Number one. Number two, it's not needed. As others have stated, the only reason there's hate right now, and, and please pay attention to this, because this is very important. The only people that are getting hate right now are the front runners, are the people in first place and close to winning. The people who have a chance at winning are getting a lot of hate. I'm not in this contest. But I've been fully involved supporting my man over there, dubbed out, all right? Everybody is doing the same thing. Everybody is helping their friends try to get as many votes. We are campaigning to get my friend to ZWC. I expect all the competitors to be doing the same thing. That is not what you're not supposed to be doing. That is the exact thing that you're supposed to be doing, is getting votes. That's why they asked you, the people with the most votes, win you're not going to leave that up to chance when something means so much to you so we're out there we're not begging people so to speak we're, we're we're making a lot of our community aware a lot of these people would vote for him regardless whether we asked or not but we're good friends we have a lot of good friends that will support each other we've got tons of support everybody has been getting tons of support to the people that are really just in this competition and going for it, respecting each other's competitors, not getting into the whole shade throwing fight or stories or whatever's going on on Twitter that I keep having to get involved in. And a lot of the shade is getting thrown at me, but I'll deal with it. I'm fine with that. Look, that's my Twitter blowing up right now as I'm making this video. I'll deal with that. I'm fine with it. If people want to have a problem with me because I want to help my friend, that's completely fine. You just, you really don't have a leg to stand on in that argument. Now, for what's going on, I addressed somebody today, and I'd like to tell you guys this, okay? I really respect a few of the competitors, okay? Because even though all this stuff is going on, and they're feeling down too, there are some people out there who respect one another's opinion. There are some people out there who actually understand where we're coming from and we're trying to understand where they're coming from. So the people who are being good sports about this, thank you. To the people who are just focusing on themselves and not worrying about what other people are doing, thank you. Now, I understand, you know, and I'm going to name some names here, you know, Yatu Chavez, awesome guy thank you so much for not feeding into this stuff i know it's discouraging i know being in a competition you want to win so bad and seeing those votes be up so high feeling that type of defeat before even the the votes are over i've been in that situation myself personally because if most of you know me you know me from gaming but i've been in music a long time a lot of these competitions to open up for these celebrities and do all this stuff, you have to get voted in. So I know what it's like to be demotivated and not want to not wanna continue. Oh, they got this in the bag already. That's not the attitude we're asking you guys to have. Go forward. See how many votes you can get this year. Even if you don't win, let's have fun with this competition. Let's encourage each other. We could be making more friendships by respecting our competitors and instead of choosing the route of throwing shade at each other and saying, oh, well, this is the reason why he's getting this and this is the reason why I'm losing and blah, blah, blah. We could be becoming friends. You know, not everybody's meant to win this. There's only going to be two winners. That means eight people are going to be upset. And I wish it wasn't that way. I wish every one of you can go out there. Some of your videos I've watched. And I'm really rooting for some of y'all. One person in particular, Turbo. I watched your video, bro. 
I love it. I'm a fellow New Yorker. I, I'm rooting for the home team all day. I love your energy. I love everything about it. You didn't make a bad video. What I don't like is the, the, the shade and the games and the tactics that are being applied during this whole competition, which is mainly supposed to be a positive thing. I, like I said, I had a conversation with Yatu Chavez earlier, and it made me appreciate him so much more. So, so much more. I have tons of respect for Yatu. He's a good friend. We played together before. Not We don't talk every day and stuff, but I got utmost respect for him, okay? When he told me, you know, when, when we sat down and we spoke and, and we, we tweeted at each other, and it wasn't an argument. It wasn't a fight. It was... Yatu, I understand how you feel, bro. And and I just hope that everybody can understand where everybody is coming from. If this person's upset, try to understand where they're coming from. You don't have to entertain it, but, but sympathize with them. Put yourself in their shoes, okay? And I feel like some of the competitors are only bringing up these negative things because of their age, okay? Look at the difference. Yatu's a grown man. I'd expect a mature, reasonable response from a person of his age. I can't say that. Is, uh, I can't say that about the rest of these competitors. You guys are young. I know what it's like to be you. I can say that. I've been young before, but you guys haven't been old yet. That's the difference. You guys, we're not going to blame you for acting like this because you're acting the way you're supposed to be acting. This is the only way you guys know. We're adults though. So instead of choosing that childish route, we've been through things like this before. We've seen the results of them. We've learned from our mistakes in the past. And we've learned to pick and choose our battles. We've learned what to make a big deal out of and what not to. I really feel like age does play a role in what's going on right now, but that doesn't excuse it either. You know, I grew up young and mature, okay? And especially people who know me, you know, w w we got a good head on our shoulders here, okay? It's tough for me not to get upset about the things that are being said about certain competitors, especially RH, okay? When I see videos or people coming at that man, all right? Let me just tell you, he's our competition too, and we're rooting for him. Because that man is a genuine person. That man has never caused an issue with anybody. That man treats everybody he comes in contact with, with respect. First and foremost. And for that, there should be no reason why anybody's coming at his head because he's winning this competition. All that says is, you're upset. I'm putting this video out right here, right now. It's okay to be upset, but don't lose your integrity. Don't let your pride drive you to do something you might regret. Because all these competitors could eventually run into each other at this competition. If you decide to go on your own, good for you. I know, I know there's certain people that are flying out there. Wouldn't you rather want to be like, hey good stuff guy that next year will get you or joke around with your competitors the camaraderie and the friendships that could be built off of respectful competitors is unimaginable you can't build friendships off of hate but if two competitors who respect each other go through a competition like this and you're able to stand up at the end of the day knowing you lost and still shake that man's hand and congratulate him, that's a friendship being built right there. So just let that sink in. I don't know if I've said everything I wanted to touch on. I don't ever do videos like this. I'm doing this because I really strongly feel like somebody needs to be the voice of reason. Okay? I'm not in this competition. I'm with my homie dubbed over here. Okay? But I want... Anybody who's busted their ass and worked hard to get where they are today to remember that ZWC is not the end and you still have to come home to your YouTube channels where you place your content and you have to live with what you've done 
So if you're trash talking somebody in a competition for the sole purpose of them winning and you're not, it says a lot about your character. Everybody in the competition, let's have fun. For those people that are doing things that they shouldn't, eyes are on you. You know, we're not going to say specifically what's going on. But we're well, of, we're well aware of a funky situation going on right now. And I'm making a promise that if that funky situation affects any of the competitors that actually deserve to go, we, me, the Ninja Nation, everybody in my community, and anybody who wants to be a part of this, we will be holding a fundraiser to get the right people out to ZWI. If they can't compete in that, that would suck. But you know what? We're going to get you to ZWC. We're going to get the plane ticket. We'll fly you out ourselves because you guys earned it. And unlike some people who think that votes can be manipulated, we're actually going for organic, okay? And I know y'all got clips of me joking around in my stream from the first night. I joke around a lot. But I take this competition very serious. And if you would have waited three more seconds and clipped the end of that, you would have heard us say that we want organic votes. We don't want this thing to be, I bought my way into ZWI. There's, no, there's nothing you can take home from that. There's no accomplishment. So doing this and earning it is the right way to go. If you didn't earn it, it's not going to feel as good. It's not going to feel as good at the end of the day when you're there. Do you understand? To the people who are throwing shade at RH and anybody in this competition, you are losing respect by the minute. Right here, right now, is where y'all need to stop. Everybody stop. Don't at anybody else in the competition. As of right now, y'all should not even be speaking to each other. Everybody's a, everybody's a competitor. We're, we're all the enemy. But we don't have to be enemies. Do you understand? So please, for the love of God, for the sake of this community and for the sake of this event, don't turn it into something it wasn't meant to be. It's the voting contest. Go out there. Get your votes. Focus on you. Have fun. Be happy being able to be part of this experience. Be humble. Don't 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 go the bad routes. Okay? And I'm going to stop here before I keep rambling on cuz I am very passionate about this. And if anybody would like to speak with me or anybody you would like to to pick our brain, chat man to man, maybe we had a tweet exchange that didn't go so well. I'm always available in my Discord. I'm always available to talk to anybody. If you guys have something you want to bring up, we're available. We can speak as gentlemen. We don't have to argue. I promise. I make a, a promise and a vow. We will sit there and try to understand fully how you feel. And try to come to common ground together. Because we don't need to be enemies at the end of the day. We all love the same game. We're all passionate about the same thing. Sometimes passion gets the best of us. And it leads us into a place where we shouldn't be going. So... Keep the competition clean, guys. Honestly, have fun. And I hope I see everybody at ZWC. Peace.